Tonight, a St. Louis doctor is on a mission to get parents to secure their firearms and for criminals to put the guns down. It comes after three children were shot in our area in just the last three days. New tonight, our Brent Solomon is just back from talking with that pediatrician. Brent? And she works in the emergency room and sees the tragedies no one wants to see. Tonight, a nine-year-old is lucky to be alive after being shot in the arm today. It follows days of shootings where the childhood victims didn't make it. Like that, I lost my mama to gun violence. Mama shot in her head in front of me and my little brother. It's why Doriana Jefferson holds her six-month-old son Kingston tight night after night. She doesn't keep a gun at home. He's six months. Sooner or later, he's going to be crawling and walking. He already getting into everything. I can't, I can't even think about it being him. In the past three days, three children impacted by gun violence. Wednesday, nine-year-old J.C. On Williams struck in the arm while inside his home in Glasgow Village. I just hear all gunshots like pow, pow, like fireworks. They shot like 17 times, but for no reason. My daughter haven't did nothing to no one. Nobody. We don't even know why somebody would even come out here and shoot our house up. He survived. This week, a seven-year-old boy in Berkeley and a five-year-old girl in Belleville did not. Police say the seven-year-old shot himself when he found a loaded gun after being left alone in his grandfather's truck. Children are tricky and they get into everything, and so just keeping a gun hidden is not an effective way. So a gun should always have a lock on it and then kept separately from the ammunition itself. Dr. Megan Rainey of Cardinal Glennon sees too many young victims in the ER. She's urging parents to get a gun lock. Her hospital gives them away for free. 14% of the gunshot wounds that we see are um, unintentional. And then 50% of those that were seen in uh, 2022 were under the age of five. It's just sad for somebody to lose an uh, innocent child to something that had nothing to do with them. Those gun locks are available in the waiting room at SSM Health's emergency rooms and pediatric clinics. Officials are also starting to deliver them to area fire stations for people who may not be able to get to the hospital. Tonight